Good evening everybody, we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be making a English canal boat. Previously we did make a cute little boat that we put onto a river which I think was absolutely adorable and it wasn't like super difficult to make so I will be going through a little bit how to actually make this again just so that we have another video that teaches you how to make a boat that's actually sitting on water. I am going to do it in a slightly smaller lot this time because last time I think we did it in a 50 by 50 lot and this time I believe this one is 40 by 30 so we are going a little bit smaller. So if you're aware this is what a English canal boat actually looks like. It's basically just a very long like tiny house. It has everything in it that you would need in order to live. It has obviously like a really tiny bathroom a lot of the time and then it'll have like a little area that can either like sort of become a bedroom from a like living space basically just by moving some sofas around and stuff and then obviously it's got its tiny little kitchen and it normally has a front and an end section where one of them will be somewhere you can sit and the other one will be where you can control the actual boat. They're super cute so basically my plan is to basically just turn this entire lot here into like a small river that goes or I guess canal that goes entirely around and then I'm gonna put like a little island with some cute little like bits in the middle maybe just like a seat and stuff so that we've got a bit more going on with this actual lot other than just the little like boat but let's crack on and see how that goes for today I'm hoping that it looks okay on a slightly small lot but I guess we'll find out so obviously we're gonna have to start with basically just putting down the or like the terraforming and making sure that we've got this little canal. I've placed it here which was probably a bad idea given that we literally have a canal with a canal boat literally on it so I think we're gonna have to just kind of deal with the fact that it looks a little bit weird where the lot is placed but obviously you can place it wherever you like when I upload this to the gallery although I do think it'd be a cute idea to have it right next to this little park here I think that'd be quite cute. So I'm gonna start off with our basis for our canal and obviously canals tend to be quite windy and they don't really have like a lot of like a specific shape to them so I'm just literally going to go in and do a very like a bumpy looking canal. I'm just going to try and keep it as close to the edge as possible so that it looks sort of as wide as we can do on this slightly smaller lot. The last one obviously we had quite a lot of space so we didn't really need to worry too much but this one I want to make sure we have lots of space and obviously we don't want the canal itself to be overly large mainly just because obviously canals aren't really that big. I think normally you can fit just the boat and and that's about it. Absolutely hate terraforming so I'm going to just try and breeze through this bit pretty quickly. I'm going to try and like I don't want it to look too weird and for some reason at the minute it's done it where it's in it's got like loads of holes in it which is super strange but there's I think that's that's an all right shape. I think that's not too bad. Let's see it with the water into it. Hopefully it doesn't look awful. I might have to like lower it a little bit actually because for some reason when I do it there it looks like super jaggedy. Okay this is better. Okay I think I'm okay with that. I think that looks pretty good. Then what we can do as well is obviously raise it all up on this side as well. I'm just going to raise up a couple of these outside areas too just to get a little bit more dimension. I don't want it to be absolutely crazy in terms of hills just because it it wouldn't really be like that anyway on a canal just because canals tend to be quite flat surfaces so I just want to add like a couple of little hilly bits around so that it looks a little bit better. Okay I think that's pretty good it looks a little bit more dimensional there's a little bit more going on. I'm a little bit worried that then when we make this boat it's going to mess it up entirely but I guess we'll have to see. I'm trying to work out where I want it. I was originally thinking about having it across this front part but we do have this longer area here which I actually feel like it might be better to put it there then we could have like a big bridge that goes across here and that's how you get to this part where you can actually get onto the boat this is the point as well where we work out whether we've actually made this canal thick enough but i guess we'll find out it's cute so i've got to try and work out how wide i want it i did want it three wide so is this gonna easily hold three because a canal tends to be able to have be wide enough that you can fit two boats down it at the same time i definitely think it needs to be three at least and then we'll need to work out from there where it kind of comes off and how far we want it to go down the side. I did also want it with a round front, but I don't know if that's going to be doable. Part of me is actually wondering whether I could use the debug cheat in order to get like something that fits the boat a bit better, but I don't know if that's even going to work. So I'm just going to have a quick look and see if there is anything. My main thought is that we need something for the front that's rounded. So if I can find anything in here that's like got a nice little rounded front, then that would be literally perfect. Mainly just because our half, like our circular 
walls that we can get in the sims the minimum you can have them is two squares wide which would mean we would have to do a four square wide like boat and i feel like that's way too wide okay i don't really think there is anything and i would kind of like to just make this myself so what i think i'm gonna do is do it where it's just literally coming up here and then we just have a little point that it comes to instead it's not gonna look as good but i think we're gonna have to just deal or we can do it like slightly rounded where it goes like this I think we're going to have to do that because we don't really have a lot of choice. But that's basically like the front of our boat. And then we're going to have to work out how long we want this boat. Right, let's check out this amount. Is this too much? That's the main thing I'm trying to work out here. It may have to make the canal wider, which is what I really don't want to have to do. Because I feel like then it's going to look really strange. I think this is probably about the right size. And then if we grab another one of these and pop this on the end, does that look too big? I feel like we're going to need to maybe make this one section a little bit bigger just to accommodate that then i am gonna just mix up a little bit of this so that it looks a little bit longer as and like wider as well how does that look i think that looks better that should be okay then basically all i'm gonna do is just remove all of this we're gonna go up and then we basically just need to put a platform in this top section here. it's actually not like super difficult in order to make a boat that like sits on the actual water itself the difficult part is actually getting it so that your sim can get on the boat which for me, I think I'm just going to be using some little steps in order to get on there because that tends to be the best way to do it. So basically what I'm going to do is literally just copy this and stick it on top and then we're going to raise it up by one and then remove all these walls. I can then go ahead and remove all the walls on the lower level as well, including whatever that is. And then now we have this little floaty part that is basically the bait, the bottom part of our boat now what we need to do is obviously get it here which to do that you literally just extend it all the way over so that it looks like it's pretty much where you want it you can fiddle around with it a little bit more after but then we're going to drag it all the way again so that we now have our boat i think it probably needs to be another one to the right is that going to be a bit too close to that end i don't know let's have a look so if i have it here and then basically we can drag it downwards it can obviously then start going in the water which is exactly kind of what we want we want it to be sitting like neatly in the water or like directly on top of it. I don't know why I removed the walls before because we totally could have just kept them there but yeah basically there we go so what I'm thinking is that this little part over here can be where we get on the boat but otherwise that actually seems pretty good I kind of like that I'm gonna have to add in our walls again I don't know why I removed them but I guess the walls aren't gonna be everywhere anyway because obviously only part of it is actually the part where we're gonna be living so the difficult part here now is going to be trying to add in the steps and making it so that you sim can actually get on this boat as you can see we do have like a little bit of clipping with the water so in that instance i am just going to raise it up a little bit so that we don't have that issue and then now i'm going to use this little section here in order to attempt to get the sim so that they can actually go on the land and to do that i'm going to try and use steps so this is kind of what i'm thinking hopefully it'll move the land it did not that's kind of annoying i'm going to actually change the steps to like these ones just because i think that they kind of fit the best and it kind of makes the most sense i'm just going to use like metal ones now i'm going to see whether i can move this land a little bit so that it makes it more even there might also be another thing where we actually have to lift this up in order to get to go onto the land which would be a bit annoying but i think that might have to be a choice but basically i'm just going to fiddle around with it until i can get that so that it's not going into the water even just like lifting up this a little bit might help okay so i've kind of fiddled around with it a little bit and it has done it now which is perfect it's exactly what we needed it has like affected this a little bit so I am just going to fiddle around and make that a little bit softer because I think basically what it's done is it's pushed the land down a small amount but that looks pretty good now I'm going to just quickly do our bridge that takes us over to that other side so that we can actually get to our boat so for making our bridge we're going to do the exact same technique that we did for our little boat and I'm basically just going to do a long strip I'm trying to work out like kind of how wide I want it that's probably about right then we're going to do the same thing and just make a little platform and then remove the bottom part we can then take Take our platform and do the same thing and lower it all the way down and then we just need to basically drag it over our little land here make sure that it's about however high you want it to actually be and then we're gonna have to do the same sort of thing in regard to getting obviously this this 
like canal is like the worst because it's literally just a loop and our boat wouldn't even be able to fit underneath the bridge so it is a little bit weird i'm gonna like raise up the bridge a little bit as well but your boat definitely could not fit underneath there so it would basically be useless you would definitely be completely stuck there if you were in this canal then you can then just go ahead and add in your cute little steps that takes you over the actual canal and luckily we did kind of do the right kind of heights here i'm gonna have to amend this a little bit but that's pretty much it there i can now fix up this one little section here and then we should be good to do a little bit of decorating around the actual island before we move on to our boat i'm doing it in a little bit of a reverse order because i think we did it a different way last time i'm definitely going to want some little like handles to get us across this bridge and things as well i'm thinking of going with like these ones i think they're kind of cute and then you have a choice of either just removing this bottom section or you can actually fill it in i'm gonna fill it in just because i like the idea of it having like wooden panels or something to hold it up i think what i'm gonna do though is put our platform color down first which i'd recommend just doing like a bog standard color it's like this might work i think for me yeah this works quite well then i'm gonna add even more and just add this little part at the bottom so that it removes that layer of white that we had there we go so i'm pretty happy with that just gonna pick a final little wood color to go onto here i think i'm just gonna go with like this one there so there's our little bridge and now i'm gonna go in and just add in a bunch of varying items i think we're definitely gonna need like a little picnic table or something in here i want there to be a bunch of trees in here i'm just gonna go with like this cute little like color here and i am gonna add in a little barbecue i think as well but we'll just do like a very basic one then now we can go in with all of our various trees and all the foliage that we would like to include i'm just going to very quickly do this so that we can move on to actually doing our canal boat i want there to be quite a bit in here though so it kind of hides how small this little canal is so i've added in all of our various trees and then i am going to go ahead and just add in a couple of extra bits of just grass and stuff around just a few things like this and we can add some little bushes and things as well basically just trying to make it look like it's a bit a, sort of like a park i think is probably the best shout then i am going to go in as well and just add some little bits to our actual canal just some pieces that you would find like next to an actual body of water okay so i've just added like a bunch of flowers and stuff around and now i'm going to go in and just manipulate some of the actual terrain i want like a little dirt path that leads from here all the way up to our boat and also to this little area over here that we've got. So for that, I'm going to go like quite soft and we're just going to add a gentle path from there all the way around to this little section over here and over there, just so that it looks like there was like people that have walked over it quite a few times. Same to get to this little area over here. Go. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to run a quick test and make sure that my sim can actually get on the boat, which is obviously the most important part. He needs to be able to actually get there. There he goes. So checking out the bridge, bridge seems to be working super well. And then off he goes onto his little boat, which also seems to be working super great. I would definitely recommend running a little test just to make sure that your sim can actually get there before you start like doing a bunch of decorating. I might make this little section over here into like a little fishing area as well. And then we should be able to move on to our boat. I can, of course, change the water as well. I don't know if I actually want to change it. I really like this one. I think it just looks a lot nicer. So I think I I'm going to use that one. <laughs> then I'm going to put a little fishing thing over here. Then we can pop some additional like wildlife and stuff in here just to make it look a little bit nicer. But we don't want to make, we want to make sure we don't overdo it. So I'm going to do some swans there. Obviously we need some fish and things over here. I think that's looking pretty good. So if we hit play on this, how does that look? Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. It definitely looks a lot more lively. So let's go ahead and now finally start making our boat. So obviously we did raise this up in order to make the steps work so we are going to have to add a little actually how far is it two i think so we are going to have to add a little step just to get us down which is kind of annoying but it's fine we'll have to deal we'll work out how we want to do like the front of the boat as well i'm thinking we do like a half wall maybe just to make it look a little bit more realistic i think this height is probably fine then we go to the other side of the boat and we do the same on this side i'm gonna do the inside of the boat first and then we can decorate the outside afterwards just because i need to work out where all the windows are going I'm thinking what we can do on this inside section is actually section all of this off and then we can raise that up so that it matches the bit on the outside and then we can add in our little step like on the side here so it doesn't get in the way too much like this i think that looks pretty good we obviously want to add in all of our lights and stuff as well so that we can actually see what we're doing oh actually if we lower this it still works 
So that's pretty good because that means that like, my main concern was that we didn't have enough space to be able to put a door. <laughs> it's my main issue because this is obviously quite short because it is literally a boat. So we don't want to use like the middle height of the room because otherwise it'll be messed up quite a bit. But luckily with this height, it's actually pretty perfect. I'm going to go with a lot of like just classic woods and things because old English boats tend to have quite a lot of like just classic wood. Some of them are really bright woods as well. So I am going to have to have a look and see whether that might be a better idea. But for now, we'll just kind of stick with this like nice little wood color and then we'll work out. I think I want to make my boat green just because some old, like old English canal boats are like this really nice dark green color. So I think that's kind of the color scheme I'm going to stick with. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like that on the inside though. But I am thinking a lot of woods on the inside just because that does tend to be what they look like. Basically for this little section up here, I'm basically just going to do it as our little entrance way. I don't really know what kind of like walls I want to put in. Obviously, like we are going with this wood theme I don't know if I want to go really out there with the woods just to make it look like basically so that the entire inside section is filled with like just varying different woods but I actually think that, that might be a kind of a good idea I'm tempted by paneling just because like wooden paneling just because I think that might work or we can go with something like this which I think would look super cute as well so I think we're gonna place that down for now and then we'll have a look at paneling and see if it works if not I'm just gonna go with these like nice like wooden slates because I think they look pretty cool. We do have these as well, which this could work too. It is a slightly different wood colour than I was hoping for though. I definitely feel like slates are the way to go. I'm just trying to work out what kind of colour I want to go with. So we do have like this one, which isn't that bad either. And I think that's kind of nice. If you wanted to go really classic, you, you would go with like these ones with the extra decoration on the inside. But again, I just don't know about the colour because we would have to go with white then. And I just don't think that looks very good. Or like this much dark colour here. I think we'll go with this one. I feel like this one kind of fits the best and then we can go ahead and pick our floor which I am definitely going to be doing wood again for that. I'm thinking of just going with this one as it's the most like plain. It still kind of fits with the rest of it that we've got here as well. I'm going to do that on the front of the boat as well. Obviously, we're going to need our door at the far end too. Just going to put that there. So we're going to have the same door. I did totally just think as well, we could actually just raise this one section a bit so that we don't need to have this like thing here, which I think this actually works kind of better. Actually, or did it look nice with the step? I kind of liked the step. Let's keep the step. Then we can do our little entrance way here, which I'm basically just thinking about adding in like a little, it's basically a wardrobe, but we're going to try and see if we can get one that doesn't look as wardrobe-y. Looks more just like a little storage area. Something like this kind of works. And then we can put some stuff on top of it as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I am very much going with all wood colours in this, but I definitely want a lot of plants because I think that'll sort of tie it all in. We just pick some cute little plants to go on to. I think that's quite nice. Got a little candle in there just to create some warm lighting. I realise that I kind of need to work out what I'm going to do with the bathroom because I feel like that's going to be the hardest part because we're going to basically, what I'm thinking is about actually splitting it up so that we've got a bathroom like in the middle and that splits up the like living and cooking area. I think that would work. We just need to work out our bed first and work out how wide like how long that is because that's going to be our main problem I think but what kind of bed would be good for this I am thinking like this one just because it's got wood on it but we do have a couple of others that are woody kind of designs too how is like this one this one's green so it matches our color scheme but it's also like really horrible for some reason want to go with one that at least kind of looks nice I mean this one's quite nice but it doesn't really match like what you would have in this kind of place I'm kind of feeling like simpler is probably a little bit better so maybe just something like this but it has such a lighter wood can I get it in darker wood to be fair this one's quite nice and that kind of matches so maybe go with that one so I'm either thinking we have it like this so that you're facing the door or we can have it the other way around which I feel like the other way around kind of works a bit better then you have this whole section to kind of go around and into your bedroom although you are facing away from the door which is never a good thing but I think we're gonna have to deal then I'm gonna have our bathroom coming off here which of course separates all of that up I don't know how long I want it to be I could just have it so so it's like a shower and a toilet but I think we're gonna have to just have a look and see which works best based on how much space we need in the rest of this because obviously we're gonna
going to need a kitchen which I'm thinking of doing it so it kind of comes around here and then we have like a living area over here. I think we could just do it so that it's just like this small. I still can't really decide whether I want it like this or this though. I feel like this is actually a little bit better just because we do have this wall here. It kind of makes more sense. Then we'll grab the same door again and just pop that here. I'm half tempted to do a different wall in our bathroom just because it is the bathroom even if it's just like something like this i feel like that looks okay maybe a different shape yeah slightly lighter color works a little bit better but we can go with this one that we were looking at before but that doesn't really go either i actually think i'm gonna go with that one i think that's that's my final choice and then we need to go in and add in all of this to here i think that's fine let's finish up doing this section over here where we have a little entrance i just want to put like a little coat rack or coat hooks or something on the wall just to make it so you have like something as you enter that's a bit more like you can actually hang your things on it. I could do some little shoes as well if they don't get in the way but I might have to run a test on that just to make sure that they don't. I think this is looking pretty cute so far. Let's grab some shoes. I'm just gonna do like little a little pair, a little set and I'm just gonna add them down here in this corner. Yeah I think that's pretty cute. I like that. We do also need to work out where we're putting all of our windows which I feel like is a big thing right and I literally haven't even thought about it but now that we've kind of got the basis of where our things are going like we can kind of go in and do our windows i definitely want them to be obviously symmetrical so i guess doing it on this side is better given we have our bathroom here from looking at our references though they do tend to have like a range of windows sometimes they'll have round ones and sometimes they'll have long ones there does tend to be windows though actually on these parts at the front so i might have to move this around and actually put windows on the front section here and then i think i'm gonna go small windows on the fronts and then big windows on the sides kind of like these windows but they are very big i don't know if we're gonna get a smaller window though other than this like tiny square one these are also pretty perfect but unfortunately again they are a little bit too big i just don't think i'm going to get a smaller window sadly how big is this window that one's actually perfect okay that one's tiny i mean it might look worse from the outside though how does it look from the outside it's not too bad to be fair it does look a little bit strange, kind of looks like a face actually. You know what, I actually don't think it's necessary to have the windows there. I think it's fine having just the windows on the side. I feel like it might look a little bit better, but I am still considering having round windows and going with like these kind of windows or we found like a nice round one before. Gee, maybe it just is these windows. I don't really like the color that they're in though, sadly. I mean, this one's a little bit better. Let's go with this one. And then obviously we're gonna want to mimic it on both sides so that it's completely symmetrical. So this is three in, so I could do the same on this side as well hopefully that kind of works obviously we do have an issue now where we can't put it exactly in the center which is kind of annoying i mean i could push it off a little bit so that it's not central or we can add in even more windows if i don't place it there i'm also half tempted to just have it so that we've got three on this side and two on that side which i think might be a little bit better and i kind of want to use this which is this really cute like it's got like a pattern in all of them just because then we can add like a cute little decoration on the outside I could put that one there just so that we've got something that's a bit different but then if I do that we'll definitely need to like rethink where we're placing everything you know what I think it's fine with three we'll go with three it's fine we don't need one in the bathroom I think it because of obviously like privacy and things I don't think you'd really want one in the bathroom anyway given that people literally walk past here let's go in now and do our little bathroom area so I just want a cute little shower I'm trying to decide which one would kind of work best for this I think personally I kind of like this one but I feel like that's not really what you would have in this kind of like you wouldn't really have that in like a canal boat I feel like it's a bit odd you could just go with a typical white one I feel like that might work best actually or like this one which is like a much more modern one I like the fact it's got little soaps in it as well I feel like that kind of works then we can go with just a little toilet that goes here which I'm just gonna pick like this one just because I think it kind of fits with that older style design quite a bit then I am gonna see if I can fit in my favorite little above the toilet decoration yeah I think that looks pretty cool then obviously we do have a little bit more space so I think I'm gonna add a big mirror here so that we do obviously have a mirror somewhere I'm trying to go with like a design that kind of fits with it even just like this one kind of works best I think we'll just pop that there in the corner and then we can't really add like a massive amount else I think I'm gonna try and stick some towels on this wall though I feel like this one kind of matches the best we'll go with like this darker brown I guess we have a big range of browns in this room which is kind of annoying me but I don't think there's anything we can really do about that 
at the minute. Or I could change the towels. Maybe I've matched those two up a little bit better, but I think we definitely need different towels. We go with like this towel instead. Actually, this towel works the best. It's definitely more modern, but I kind of just think it looks nicer. I'm thinking about having it a little bit lower down and then we could add something above it too. If we lift it up to here, maybe just like having a little shelf or something. And I'll be then putting a bit too much in this room though. We could put just a very tiny picture. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute. We'll match it up to the bit there. Okay, I think that's fine for our bathroom. We can then move on to this other section over here, which is going to be our kitchen. I'm a bit worried that this side of the room is very boring. I don't I actually don't know if I want to add some more to this section here, but I don't really know what I would add, to be honest. I'm actually very tempted to add like this in, which is basically just like extra stuff being hung up that you can then use as like a wardrobe type thing. But I don't know if it kind of makes it look messy. Nah, instead, we're going to go with this thing, which I think this is kind of cool, which is just like a little bit of decoration. Decoration. We do have this section above the bed as well, which I'm tempted to add some like shelving or something to. Let's maybe add some shelves. I think that'll be cute. Oh, we don't really have a lot of pictures. We could add a picture instead. How about like one of these? Do any of these match with what you would have in there? To be fair, we have got an older style, so an older picture would be a bit better. Something like this. Oh, that actually looks really cool. I don't know, maybe it needs to be bigger though. Or we could do two pictures. Do one there and then maybe this one. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Let's go with that. Then we can move on to our other bit over here, which is our kitchen. And for this, I'm basically just going to do a U shape all the way around so that we can try and have as many countertops as possible in such tiny space. That's my only concern really for making this is that we don't have enough space. Do I go with the literal wooden fridge? It's literally just an ice box, but like I kind of, oh, I like it, but I don't think I can because I think it'd make it too difficult. Or we can go with this one, which I think this one's quite nice as well. If I can match the wood, but I don't know if it's got like a darker wood color. Nah, sadly not. I mean, alternatively, we could just use this Meg one, which matches with a lot of them because it's got the cream color to it. Let's go with that. I think that's fine. And then we got to pick our countertops, which I'm thinking like these kind of older ones. I feel like this goes quite well. And then this is kind of the shape I was thinking. Then I was actually thinking about having like a half wall here and then putting some cabinets on top. Let's see if I can kind of do that just so that this is basically like a serving hatch instead. I don't know if it'll work, but let's test it out and see if it works. It might be a little bit off and basically just add in like these two little bits here and then remove the wall or make it a half wall. I'm tempted to make it a half wall. Okay, I mean that kind of works. It just needs something like in this corner here to kind of link it together. What if I just stick like a pillar? You know what? That's fine. I kind of like that. I think it kind of works. It's a little bit odd, but it sort of makes it work. Although we don't have anywhere to actually make the food, which is the annoying part. Because it being this size, if we put... Because we're going to need a sink and then we're going to need an oven. Uh, what do I do? I might have to make it like an extra bit wide and just move it over here. How long is that? That means our seating area is going to be absolutely tiny, which isn't that great. I kind of want to be able to do everything. I do have like one small idea that might work and that's basically just moving the fridge over here so it's in the corner and we can pick a smaller fridge. I think I might have to do that because we don't really have a lot of options. So what I think I'm going to do is basically get a small table and put the fridge underneath i don't even know because i want the t i want there to be a tv on it which i don't know if that's going to be doable and like to still have a usable fridge so say for example i use this fridge which is really ugly can i fix that can i make it nicer not really we could get a black fridge but it's not the best option i could put a tv above it that'd be fine. Hmm, I think I might have to just deal. Let's look at our TV options, because it won't let me put a TV above it. Can I put a TV here? Yeah, but it's like stuck inside it. Might have to just do like a little wall TV like this. You know what? It's probably fine. We'll put the TV there because it's on a little angler thing anyway. So if you were sitting here, you would definitely angle it towards you to watch the TV. It's mainly just because I would rather the TV be like here or here just to make it more visible. I could make it smaller. Hmm. This is difficult. Let's run a little test to see if this TV works. Because if this TV works, then it basically does everything I wanted it to do. I've got to get my sim back on the boat again. Up he goes. Over he goes. It works. Okay, awesome. So that I was not expecting that that TV to work in the slightest. But I'm super glad that it works. Because that means that now we can have the TV angled where I want it to be angled. Oh wait, I, also need, I didn't even check to make sure that the fridge actually works. I mean, I assume that it works. Let's go see if I can have a quick meal of animal crackers from this tiny fridge. Oh, I don't think I can. I think it stops it from working. Can he use the fridge? Okay, so I don't think he can use the fridge, which is really annoying. 
because that means I now need to work out a different place for this fridge. Why am I really tempted to just put the fridge on this front section here? Yeah, he can't reach it. That's really annoying. You don't need the fridge inside, right? Is it fine to have it outside? I think it's fine to have it outside. We're putting the fridge outside. It's fine. We'll make do. It'll be okay. It's what happens when you do a really tiny build. You end up with no sinks in the bathroom and your fridge is outside. But then we can go ahead and add way more bits into here, which should be better. Then I think we're going to need to just grab another one of these in order to make our little sort of sink area. Obviously we need our oven as well. I'm not too sure where to put the oven. I think I'm going to put it here. This is like world's tiniest little kitchen. It doesn't even have a fridge in the kitchen. I think for our oven, obviously we're going to want to get an electric oven because gas in one of these places would be an absolute danger. So I think I'm going to go with this one because that's clearly got like the like more induction-y electric hob top type things and it kind of matches our windows. So yeah, I would have just completely ignored having a sink in here but given that we don't even have a sink like in our bathroom, we definitely need a sink. There you go. So I think that's pretty cute. I kind of like that. Let's add in some decorations. Definitely grab a little fire alarm. I'm tempted to also add these shelves back here but I think we're then going to get into an issue of way too much stuff and give Given that it's such a small kitchen, I definitely don't think we want that. So I added a couple of things into that corner and I can also add some more stuff at this corner if I can find anything that kind of looks nice. Kind of thinking like one of those tea sets maybe, like a little teapot and stuff. Got like this one that I think would do quite well. I just pop this in the corner there. Yeah, that's pretty cute. And then I do want to add some more stuff to this back section here. Ooh, I kind of want to add these in, but I want to put them like on this side so that we're filling in this empty kind of wall a little bit more because I feel like there's not a lot going on there. Then I think I want to put like this little thing here but I want to like fit it in a little bit better. Then I was thinking about including this just like here and then we can put some more stuff on top of it but I can't get it in the right colour so I might have to do it in like black. I feel like that just doesn't look that great. It looks much better in that colour so what I might do is actually just get a shelf and do something similar. If I can get like that same wood colour. Is it just this light colour here? Kind of. Oh I can't match it now that's annoying. It doesn't need to match I could just also get like this kind of shelf or this one's a little bit nicer yeah i think that should work and then we can grab some stuff to put on the shelf as well there's always stuff that i add into a kitchen and it's always just like these little spices and then obviously there's like loads of other little kitcheny bits that we can include as well might put a little plant up there but i'm not too sure yet just depends on how much room we have really because i want to include like i normally include books just to have like as sort of cookbooks i don't think we have like the most amount of room up there so i think that's kind of fine I think that looks pretty cute. I kind of like that. So I think that's our kitchen done. Let's move on to our living space, which should be quite simple to do because we are literally just going to be basically adding in a corner sofa. And for this one, we will have to go like a little bit more modern as it is a corner sofa. I'm trying to work out what kind of colours we can at least go with. I think the green one's the best because that'll actually match what we're doing outside as well. And we're just going to go like this. And then that's our main little seating area. Then over here, obviously, this is where I wanted to TV originally. So I'm going to want like a rounded um, like little table or I could go with something like this but unfortunately it's always like this really weird colour and white just doesn't really suit that great. But I might go with this one actually to think that one works a little bit better and we can whack a TV on top. Yeah I think that looks pretty good. I am tempted to add like a bookshelf or something onto this side if we have enough room and maybe like a picture or something as well. I think I'm going to add this because I think that looks kind of cool with the sketches all the way around. Then obviously we do have this side here which I'm not too sure what I'm going to put here. We definitely need something thing because I think it looks kind of empty but obviously we don't want to put too much there otherwise we actually won't be able to get past. Ooh, maybe just like these little books. I actually kind of like that. I think that looks really cool. Okay so I think that's the inside of our house actually done now. I'm tempted to just add a little seat on the outside here as well just because a lot of the time you do have like a little comfy seat to sit outside. If I can find one we do have the outside's going to be green so if I can find one in green that'd be perfect or we could do like this nice little brown color. I actually kind of like this one. Let's go with that one. Now we need to decorate the outside of our house. So this is definitely going to need some thought as like these kind of boats are very odd looking on the outside. They have a lot of design to them. Hey, I'm starting to feel like maybe there needs to be slightly shorter walls though on these end parts. From looking at the references there is definitely shorter walls uh, or no walls at all on these front parts so I think we do need to shorten them a little bit. Even if it's just to like this I think that'll be a bit better. And I am actually going to leave it like that. Actually no we'll, we'll delete that part just so that he 
can't get on. And then on the top of the boat, from the looks of it, looking at the references, it is literally just a wooden top. So I'm really tempted to actually just add like this and then flatten it as much as I can, just so that there is a little bit of texture. Because having a flat roof isn't the best and I always try and avoid it if I can. Then we'll just make it like as flat as possible. I don't know if that is actually flat. Let's raise it up like a very small amount and that should be fine. And then we can go ahead and just find like as plain of a top as we can. I'm thinking that maybe we could actually incorporate this into our color palette and do like red and green because from the looks of it like it, red, green and yellow seems to be a big color scheme that a lot of them use. So what can we get in red? There's quite a few but obviously we're going to want it to be as plain as possible. Something like this actually kind of does work because all the other ones are like this kind of off pink color and that doesn't really work. So I think let's go with this one. I think that looks the best and then we'll add a red trim to it as well even though the red is again a little bit not the right kind of red but it's fine let's go with that one or we could go with yellow actually if we were trying to do that color scheme but there isn't oh no that one's kind of nice i like that one okay let's go with that then we can go ahead and add in our other bit so i want a trim on our little like half wall that we've got here and again this is either going to be like yellow or red we can get it in yellow so i think we're gonna go with yellow well it's yellowish or we can go with it in red which one would be better from looking at it i think they've gone with like the rooftop on a lot of these designs so i think i'm gonna go with the red then we need obviously our dark green color that's gonna go across the entire thing i wonder whether this one will look good this one's actually pretty good or this one i like that one less i think it looks quite desaturated or this color oh, actually i love this one let's go with this one so now that we've got that it does have a lot of design to it these boats so that's the only other thing i'm thinking is that we don't have like any design aspects going on about it so i don't really know how i can go about and do that can i add these to like this middle part i mean it'll add it to the bottom but it doesn't add it to the middle which is kind of annoying but it might also be good to do that just to get rid of this white color that we've got make it a little bit nicer we definitely do need that patterning though so i'm trying to work out how i can do that is there any chance that there's a green that also has like something going on it's mainly like lines so it's stuff like this but that is like a horrible color and i'm definitely not using that let's see if there's any like wall decorations that might work because i'm liking it so far i just think it does need a bit more there does actually tend to be writing on these boats so I wonder if we're gonna just use like this thing that I think is like called like chef's signature or something in order to add some writing to the side, especially here where we don't have a window. I feel like that looks pretty cool. Kind of makes it look like a restaurant, but I think it's it fits with what we're trying to do here. Oddly enough, this thing actually kind of works with the designs that you would have on a boat, but I don't know if I can just go ahead and just like stick them on the side or whether that makes it look really strange because I don't think it's got a lot else going on and we can't just like cut it over the top there so i think we're gonna have to leave that as an idea another thing we could do is actually use pillars in order to create more sort of dimension across this i feel like that could work just to make it feel a little bit better it's a shame that you don't have them in yellow though what actually ones can you get in yellow those aren't really yellow i wouldn't call those yellow i guess we're gonna have to go with red what have they got in red i mean this is apparently red but it doesn't match the red we've picked there which is kind of annoying to be fair i think this still looks better and we could do it in between each of these although now that i'm looking at that that's not exactly in the middle uh, it's fine and then we can just add all of these to these sections here which i think definitely makes it feel more like what it's meant to look like i think i'm pretty happy with that then i don't think there's like a massive amount else that we can actually do i do want to actually add just some little lights to this front part here just so that it is lit up a little bit better from the outside and then i think we're done just thinking like some classic ones like this might work quite well and we can get them in yellow as well so it just makes it even more perfect for our color scheme that we've kind of picked and there we go with our lights added our boat is complete I think this canal boat looks super cute and it does look pretty similar to an old English canal boat. I think it, the, the most difficult part was trying to get the outside to look like them. I just don't think that The Sims has enough like actual decorations in there to give it the same kind of awesome style that old English canal boats have. I really like the inside though. I think it came out pretty good despite the fact that it's so small on the inside that we did struggle to obviously fit even our fridge inside and I do think it is pretty cozy though. I personally would live here. I think it looks super cute on the inside but let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i post long content like this every wednesday and friday at around 6 p.m and i post shorts the rest of the week if you enjoyed this video on the screen now is another recommended video so check that one out too and i hope you all have a great evening